What is up guys? Farmer Joe Parker here. I don't know what to expect, right? It's my channel. Today, I'm gonna take you guys on a little tour of my friend's mushroom shop. This place is no longer going. I took this footage a while ago and he told me once he shuts it down I can post it. So I'm stoked I get to post all this footage that I took and I hope you guys enjoy it. Come along, check it out. So if you didn't know, it all starts with agar. This right here is some spores that are germinating. And these right here are just agar transfers. That's mycelium that's growing on the agar. This is a couple trays that are fully colonized, a little over colonized. They're even starting to pin and then grow some mushrooms inside. They've gone a little too far. These will not be used. Ideally, you want to use the agar when the rhizomorphic growth is just about to the edge. All transfers should be done in front of a flow hood in a clean room using 70% isopropyl alcohol because 90% will evaporate too fast. 70% lets the alcohol stay longer, killing more of the bacteria. These are some spore prints that are going to be used to make more mushrooms. After the mycelium has grown in the agar trays, it gets moved to grain bags until it's fully colonized. And then it gets moved to totes. These are totes. 66 quart Sterilite totes. And those are mushrooms. It takes about a week or so to start growing mushrooms, give or take. But there is a few mushrooms in here. After things are picked, of course, they need to get dried. So, this is the drying room. Get everything up on racks. Loads them up pretty good. And these are the mushrooms that we kind of deem just unacceptable quality. These will be, just because they've opened up and dropped spores, they're still potent. They're going to be used in chocolates. Because, I mean, if you're digging through a bag of mushrooms, you don't really want to eat this because it's just not pretty. But really, the potency is still <laughs> crazy strong. So, these are going to go to the chocolates. Mm. Thanks for watching the video everybody. I hope you enjoyed. This was some cool content from my buddy's old shop and uh, I wish I could make more but this is pretty much it for the footage. Give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. See you guys next time. Peace.